Are you gonna charge for that gorgeous set of nails? This week, I am really excited because we have a really beautiful spring slash Easter themed design. Your client walks in the door and brings you this beautiful design. You take one look at it and you're wondering, how in the heck am I gonna actually get this done in an hour? So you're really gonna need a solid strategy to get this design and execute it within that time allotted for the appointment. Also, you gotta keep in mind maintenance. For the next time she walks in the door, you wanna set yourself up for success. You wanna be sure that the maintenance process in future appointments is gonna be easy, and also you'll be able to hit your allotted time for the future. I am extremely curious, to be honest with you, how this set is gonna get done. I took a look at it. I truly have zero idea. Tracy was gonna walk me through it. I don't wanna know. I want her to explain it. I want the element of surprise for myself. And it is a good thing that she is right here, not right here, but over there. Tracy Ryerson, will you come on down and explain to us how we're gonna get this done? How? Are you gonna do this? It's a tricky little design. It's really beautiful. Like, it's gorgeous. Yeah, I know. I love, this is one of my favorite ones, I think. Everyone is your Everyone favorite. Everyone is my favorite one. This is, <laughs> it is true. I love nails. So here's the issue. Uh, it is colored acrylic that is in that picture. And I know it because it actually states the colors. Blushing Girl and uh, Peekaboo Blue. So I am not doing a colored acrylic ombre today. Mm. It ain't happening, um, but she wants those exact colors, so I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna cheat it. I'm extremely curious on how you're gonna do this, and of course, how much you're gonna charge. Are you ready? Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, let's start with what we're gonna be using. We are going to be using our Young Nails Monomer Cover Peach. We have those two colors, Peekaboo Blue, Blushing Girl. We also have Go Time Heaven Help Me. We have our Confetti's Moody, Raspberry Mylar, Star Sand Glitter, Blueberry Mylar, our Lots of Rocks Kit. We need that for our rhinestones. What I'm really, really excited about is our new Electrophile that is coming out in May. Let's get started with our demo. Okay, we're gonna start by pushing back cuticles. We're going to go into our medium cross cut bit which is the equivalent of a medium arbor band or a medium file. I'm going to turn on our new electric file. I'm going to dial it to about three. I love the digital display on it because I know exactly where I'm at. We're going to turn it on. We'll get started with her prep. Okay, let's pull back. Just tuck into that cuticle area. Follow through, gonna remove the shine. She had a little bit of leftovers there, but that's not a big deal. Make sure it's nice and clean, and we are good to go. Next, we're just gonna dust her off, grab our swipe, and get some swipe on our brush. Brush down, and we're gonna remove all the oils and contaminants off her nail. Let's grab our Young Nails Protein Bond. If you're used to a primer, this is not an acid primer, so you wanna make sure that you're covering the whole nail. We don't just dot it and let it spread. We're gonna make sure we cover the whole surface of the nail. We're gonna move on to all 10. Then we're gonna come back and we're gonna put on a second coat. And that way we know we're not gonna get any lifting. Let's grab our form. It's nice and on there. Gonna pull it to a pinch. Make sure we're coming from underneath, drawing it out. That way it's nice and tight all the way through so we don't get a fat nail. Gonna hold her fingers kind of down, let her relax, and that's gonna show us which way that nail is gonna go. We need to tweak it just a little bit this way. Perfect. Grab our liquid. Let's grab 
grab our cover peach. Okay, we're gonna grab ourselves a nice size pearl. to the point where we want the nail to go to. Spin it out, and we're just gonna kind of walk it up and attach it to those side walls. And make sure that we're attaching it all the way up there to the side wall, not just the very tip of the nail. That way we have nice strong side walls and we don't end up with a notch there that's gonna break. ourself a nice size pearl, place it down, make sure we tuck it to those cuticle area right away, hold her finger down, that way it's pulling away from the cuticle area, make sure we get it nice and secured to the side walls right away while it's still very wet, that way you know it's going to be nice and adhered, we're not going to get any lifting. When we use the body of our brush instead of the tip of the brush, we can kind of, I say manhandle the product a lot better. We can make it do what we want it to do. Plus that prevents from shoving a ton of acrylic into your brush and it getting gunked up. Okay, now we'll get outside. We need more product right here at the tip. I'll grab myself a nice little pearl and set it down right there. Let this dry out, I'm gonna file and shape it, and then we'll get back to you with the design. Okay, we've filed and we've shaped. We're gonna go ahead and go with our design. We're gonna start by applying our protein bond. That way we know we get a nice adhesion that we're not gonna have any chipping. Through, do that all 10 fingers. Next, we're gonna go into our Go Time Heaven Help Me. I love this white because it has such great coverage for a gel polish. Okay, let's get that on the whole nail. This is kind of just gonna set us up to make what we're gonna do next, our next step, really stand out. step. Now this is how we're going to cheat. Happen to do a full ombre in acrylic. We're going to pull out our conversion base. Put on a thin layer all the way through. Cover the whole surface of the nail, making sure we cover everything. Okay, we're going to grab those colors. We're going to start with our peekaboo blue. Take our scoop and I'm going to start in the back area. Stop right about there. We're gonna switch it out. I'm gonna switch to the pink. Just gonna sprinkle that. Making sure we cover everything all the way through. Once we have that, I'm gonna pull this away and we're gonna tap it off. And that's how we cheat it out. Okay, let's move on to the next one. the colors, I'm gonna keep them to the side. And let's see, let's start with our pink. Just sprinkle it here. And then we're gonna to go to our blue. Sprinkle it there. Go to our pink. And to our blue. Make sure we're nice 
nice and covered everywhere. Okay, we have a nice coat. Again, we're going to tap her off. Okay, and let's get her in the light. Get her in the light for 60 seconds. Let's get our makeup brush. I'm just going to dust off the excess. Okay, let's pull out our stuff. We're gonna pull out our blueberry. Now, because we're doing this on the surface, I'm gonna worry a little bit more about what I'm pulling out for Mylar. I'm gonna pull this out, and I'm actually gonna take some small scissors because I want smaller pieces. And I'm just gonna cut it as I go through. And let some fall, get some smaller pieces in there. And then as it comes out on the table, I go through it and I just really break it up with my fingers. This way it's going to make it easier for me to find the smaller pieces and the flatter pieces. Okay, let's pull out some star sand. I'm actually going to put that out on the table towel too. And then to pick them up, we're actually going to use, okay, so we're actually going to use the rhinestone, the wax tool that we pick up the rhinestones with. Uh, this works great for the mylars also. Okay, so I'm gonna grab that caption base. We're gonna put on a nice layer over the whole surface of the nail. I'm gonna use that wax tool again, and we're gonna pick up our flatter pieces. And again, I'm a little more careful when it comes to this because it is on the surface of the nail, so I want the pieces to lay pretty flat into that gel. Okay, once we have it, I'm gonna freeze it in light. Get in the light. I'm just gonna set it for 30 seconds. Okay, so now we have the surface on. What we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our conversion top. We're gonna encase it. Kind of floating it over the top of the nail, all the way through, and then I'm gonna show you what we need to do because she would, it is a little bumpy and lumpy, so I'm gonna show you after we cure this what to do. So now, I don't want my client to feel any of these bumps or lumps. We need to kind of reshape it. We've floated on the gel, so it's a little thick right now. So I'm gonna grab my swipe. I'm gonna remove the sticky layer. And we're gonna go through. Just tighten up those sides. Take a pretty coarse buffer, this is our 180 buffer, and I'm gonna go over the top. Right on the cuticle. And this is gonna help smooth it all out without removing any of the material that's below. Now, because I wanna make sure that the conversion top that I'm gonna put over the top again sticks, I'm just gonna go through with my 150 file and make sure I put a few scratches in there. It's nice and tight. I'm ready for top cut. Okay, let's pull out our rhinestones. Get some out on the table. I'm actually gonna set these with our conversion top. We're gonna freeze this for about 10 seconds and I'm gonna put one more coat on just so those stones are nice and secured. And we're gonna do our final top coat. 
this really is just so I can set those stones. I'm gonna just a thin layer, I'm gonna push them up against the stones, not over the top of the stones. And then what I like to do is I like to take a striper brush, get some gel on it, and I'm gonna go around the stones. Okay, so we're just gonna make sure they're nice and sealed. And this kind of smooths out the back end too. And we know those stones are really set and solid. the rest of the nails out and we'll get back to you with the final look. This is a pretty spectacular set of nails, Tracy. These are absolutely gorgeous. I have a feeling it's going to be insanely expensive. Let's talk to Tracy and find out exactly how much. You ready? I'm ready. 160. $160. $160. Walk us through the pricing, $160. Please take us through. Though I'm still gonna be able to get it done in an hour, there's a lot of steps to this. Yeah. Even, even if you notice, like I had a top coat and then I had to file and then I have to top coat again. And like, there's a process a like and, and a lot of product. So we're looking at $90 for the full set. Okay. We're looking at 20 extra dollars for the length and shape because it's fairly long it and long. like a stiletto shape. Um, you're looking at, we had six different additional items. Um, that is an extra 30. And then we had the stones. We can't forget the stones. We had five on one hand. We'd probably do another five on the other. I charge $2 per stone, so that's an additional 20, so that gets us to 160. There you have it, it's $160 for this set of nails. Look, at the end of the day, if you want this type of beautiful work and art, you're gonna have to pay for it. And I truly think this is one of my favorite set of nails, Tracy. It is, it's so beautiful. I mean, it just is. Say that about every set. I think this one though. This is it. This is it. Okay. This is the tops for today. I love it. Great job. And we'll see you next week on How Much.